Well, tonight the drone video says it all. Analysts are using video to assess the structural damage of homes and high rises across the East Coast. News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld is in the newsroom with more on this for us, Mike. Thanks, guys. Experts with Bridgepoint Global tell me there are hundreds of buildings literally on the brink right now. First, the perspective of the state's director of emergency management admits he thought it was going to be a lot worse. I'm going to be honest with you, I thought it would be more than what we've had so far. I figured we may have upwards of 100. Kevin Guthrie's assessment of the post-Nicole damage along Florida's east coast underlines the risk homes and high-rise structures were facing even before Nicole hit. When this is done and over, we've searched, secured, and stabilized the area. We will start the recovery process. That'll take years, literally years. In an exclusive interview with News 6, the director of the Florida Division of Emergency Management laying out an aggressive recovery strategy to assess the damage and, quote, put the foot on the gas to bring back and revitalize the badly hit areas. I have an internal goal of 72 hours. I want to get everything stabilized to the point where we can start some recovery, debris removal, start looking at those beaches in 72 hours. That's a lofty goal. How vulnerable have we been on the coast, we, the state of Florida? We're, we're seeing hundreds and hundreds of buildings that we've inspected um, with concern. Rick Collins of Florida-based Bridgepoint Global leads a national risk assessment team that reviews structural risks of coastal high-rise buildings from California to Florida. So this is not a problem unique to Florida, then, you're telling me? It's not at all. Collins tells News 6 the company offers a sweeping review of properties dubbed RAMP, Risk Analysis Mitigation Program. Collins tells me the damage we're seeing now was something his team says was inevitable. The problem is these buildings are built so close to the, the water to begin with and the age of the buildings and with catastrophic events like Ian and Nicole that brings the surge and the wave action just accelerates the potential of, of this happening again. Yeah, that's so true. And it's not clear, guys, how long it'll take to shore up the buildings that are really dancing that coastal tightrope. With high tide expected at about 8 p.m. tonight, we may be reporting more building damage day by day. Mm. Back to you. Just heartbreaking yeah. to watch that. Mike, thank you.